This sleepy town woke late Sunday night to the crashing of wind and heavy rain. We had no warning is one thing. You know, the town siren didn't go off and, you know, and we weren't expecting this at all. Around 11, winds of about 80 miles per hour whipped through Radcliffe. But as quick as the wind came in, it was gone, and the storm was over. It was a loud rushing wind, and we heard that the rain just, just batter against the house. What was left? Trees down in streets, yards, on vehicles, some narrowly missing houses, other homes not as lucky. That's kind of scary. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this in the 38 years that I've lived here. Our Savior's Lutheran Church didn't escape unscathed. The roof torn off towards the back of the church, leaving a gaping hole. And the wind sent debris from the church across the street into a neighbor's yard. And take a look at this plywood lodged in between the tire and its rim. Looks like it came through here a little bit. We were there as the pastor walked through his church. Yeah, we got windows blown, up, blown out up there. For the first time since the storm. The fellowship hall in the basement filled with a piano and tables now sitting in two to three inches of water. They haven't started calculating the cost of the damages, but they are counting their blessings. That's the worst thing that got damaged. We're, we're a blessed and lucky society. This church has been around for 122 years. This structure itself since the 1950s. But one thing the pastor told us, he says it's a blessing that no one was hurt. In Radcliffe, Alex Axe, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader.